Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my presentation. I'm Satya and I would like to talk about deadlock in operating system. So first of all, let's take a look into my contents. I'll be talking about what is deadlock, example of deadlock, circular weight, deadlock detection, deadlock prevention, deadlock avoidance, difference between starvation and deadlock, advantages of deadlock and disadvantages of deadlock method. What is deadlock? Deadlock is a situation that occurs in operating system when any process enters a waiting state because another waiting process is holding the demand resource. Deadlock is a common problem in multi-processing where several processes share a specific type of mutually exclusive resource known as a softlock or software. Example of Deadlock A real-world example would be traffic which is going only in one direction. Here, a bridge is considered a resource. So when deadlock happens, it can be easily resolved. If one car backs up, several cars may have to be backed up if a deadlock situation occurs. So starvation is possible. What is circular weight? One process is waiting uh, for the resource, which is held by the second process, which is also waiting for the resource held by the third process. This will continue until the last process is waiting for a resource held by the first process. This creates a circular chain. For example, process A is allocated resource B as it is requesting resource A. In the same way, process B is allocated resource A and it is requesting resource B. This creates a circular weight loop. Example of circular weight. For example, a computer has three USB drives and three processes. Each of the three processes are able to hold one of the USB drives. So when each process requests another drive, the three process will um, have the deadlock situation as each process will be waiting for the USB drive to release, which is currently in use. This will uh, result in a circular chain. Deadlock detection. A deadlock occurrence can be detected by the resource scheduler. A resource scheduler helps operating system to keep track of all the resources which are allotted to different processes. So when a deadlock is detected, it can be resolved using the given uh, below given methods. Deadlock prevention. It's important to prevent a deadlock before it can occur. The system checks every transaction before it is executed to make sure it doesn't lead the deadlock situations, such that even a small change to occur did that an operation which can lead to deadlock in the future. It also never allowed it process to execute. It is a set of methods for ensuring that at least one of the conditions cannot hold. No preemption action, mutual exclusion, hold and wait, circular wait. Deadlock avoidance. It is better to avoid a deadlock instead of taking uh, action after the deadlock has occurred. It needs additional information, like how resource should be used. Deadlock avoidance is the simplest and most useful model that each process declares the maximum number of resources of each type that is needed. Avoidance algorithms. The deadlock avoidance algorithm helps you to dynamically assess the resource allocation state so that there can never be a circular waste situation. A single instance of a resource type, user resource allocation graph, cycles are necessary which are uh, sufficient for deadlock. Multiple instances of a resource type, cycles are necessary but never sufficient for deadlock. Use this the banker's algorithm. Difference between starvation and deadlock. There are some differences between starvation and deadlock. The deadlock situation occurs when one of the processes got blocked. And starvation is a situation where all the low priority processes got blocked and the high priority process execute. Deadlock is an infinite process. On the other hand, starvation is a long waiting but not an infinite process. Every deadlock always has a starvation, but every starvation does not necessarily have a deadlock. Deadlock happens then mutual exclusion holds and wait 
uh, here preemption and circular weight do not occur simultaneously. Starvation happens due to uncontrolled priority and resource management. Advantages of de deadlock. The situation works well for processes which perform uh, a single burst of activity. No preemption needed for deadlock. Convenient method when applied to resource whose state can be saved and restored easily. Feasible to enforce by a compiled time checks. There's no runtime computation since the problem is solved in system design. But there are some uh, disadvantages of deadlock. Delays process initiations, process must no feature resource need, prims uh, more often than necessary, uh, this allows incremental resource requests, inherent uh, preemption losses. That's all about my presentation. In conclusion, I would like to thank our honorable teacher for watching my presentation.